And welcome, this is Baller Scuba with a new Let's Play for you guys. As promised, this is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. We're going to be skipping the introduction here. I've actually changed my mind about that one. So, we're just going to go right into the game here. I have actually decided... Um, how do I do this? Oh, that's right, new game. Oh, I already fell at Mario. This is sad. We're going to be naming this game Scuba. Uh, I haven't gotten as many comments as I thought I would on that first episode there. There's still time though, you guys can still guide me in the way that you guys want me to go. But I'm pretty much going to be playing this how I want until told otherwise or suggested otherwise. And what's this? The princess? Oh no! Is Bowser flipping me off? And there they go. Help Mario! Bowser's gonna go do stuff to me. So Mario is out to get him. Apparently we're already at his castle? No, okay, there we go. So Princess is apparently waving to nothing, trying to trying to get Mario's attention, but hey, we're already there. What the hell? How long of a travel distance are we talking about here? So in runs Mario, all cartoony, like Tom and Jerry style. So here we are. Ah, trying to get used to the controls here. Uh, no point in fighting these guys, so let's just move on. And this is a scripted, well, not a scripted fight, but it's a forced fight, so we don't have a choice. We're going to be taking on these Terrapins. Uh, they go down very easily. And I'm able to block. Oh, there we go. And block. Ah, you missed. Uh, just like uh, the future games on the Game Boy, the Superstar Saga, Partners in Time, and all that kind of stuff, you use what's known as timed hits. If you hit the button just as you do the action, see how I'm pressing A to attack, and then I hit A. If I hit A right there, oh, I missed it. I'll get uh, do a second little punch there and I'll be able to get more damage. It also works for defense, hitting that A button. Alright, who cares? And moving on, ooh, pretty chandeliers, and what's that? There's there's nobody at the, cr at the throne, but what? There's like a, a pink, whoa! There's the, oh, you guys are in the middle of something. I'll, I'll be back. Um, sorry about disturbing you. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. He's not respecting our saved word. For the great beyond. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? Um. So we can try jumping on Bowser. Why not? I do 43 damage on him. But you're not supposed to fight Bowser in this. I'm supposed to take on the Kink Link. Yeah. So we're taking on the King Clink, and I do massive amounts of damage to him, and apparently he shot a spike out of his ass at me. That's why I just told them. Shut up and make me a sandwich. Take on the King Clink! Down goes the King Clink! What? No! I hate puns. I'm not even gonna bother reading that. Shut up, you deserve that for that pun. Mario gives us the peace sign. Maybe he means V for victory, like it's a British thing. I don't know. This wasn't released in in Europe, was it? I don't know. Fight to stay on the chandelier. Yeah, I did it. Oh, he threw another hammer. Over screwed. Thanks to the magical wonder of Mario, we somehow catch up to Bowser, even though it was a really small room. I mean, we're only talking about 30 feet, uh, but somehow we're still going to be flying down here, falling to our doom. Even though it's been way too long for how high up those chandeliers were. And, oh no, I jumped on your face! Rising up, and... Holding on to the bottom of the kink link. Who would have guessed I would have made it? And yeah, her name's Toadstool in this game. It's not Peach. I don't know why they changed it. 
called why it was ever Toadstool. Toadstool is a horrible name for a princess. Peach is so much better. But yeah, she's known as Toadstool in this game. She was for a while. And here we're introduced to the stars. Count them, there are seven of them. But you don't really need to count them. It's the name of the game, The Legend of the Seven Stars. But what's the deal with the sword? Does that sword have eyes? And like, fangs? What? So yes, Super Mario RPG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like the seventh one is behind the sword. And so Mario goes flying out of the castle. Will he land on a mattress and therefore save his own life? Well, we found the pipe house. Apparently people smoke crack in there, I assume. Oh, is waiting outside. And he's gonna see Mario land. And, and he runs cartoony to style too. And wait, where'd I go? Oh, that's me in the corner. On the hanger? The hanger saved me? No, 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 no. Mario doesn't take damage from falls. That's not how it works. What? So how do we get off the hanger? Huh? Huh? We jump. Of course we do. We're Mario. Um, if you, uh, if you use this little light here, you go back to sleep, but we don't need to do that right now, so let's just move on. Huh? Huh? Uh, the game gave me an option to talk. Yeah, Bowser's out doing stuff. It was so kinky. It was weird. Okay. No problem. Let's go. Come on, man. You told me to go. Um, I don't need to save, dude. That was like the easiest fight ever. I can do that again. No problem. All right, so let's go back to Bowser's Keep. Apparently, that's all it took. So all those times you played Mario games and it took you eight worlds to get the Bowser's Keep, you had no idea what you were doing. If you just took a left at Mario's house, you're there. It's-a me, Mario. The Smithy Gang? As far as I can tell, you're one sword. How are you a gang? Is this like an Oz thing? Is there like a man behind the curtain? Like a Koopa Troopa behind the curtain? Nosy. Don't be making fun of my big nose. What the hell was that? <laughs> and so we stand on Vista Hill, that's what this is called, and we just jump and then run off. And so now we can't go left anymore, we have to go right to Mario's pad. That's what they call it, Mario's pad. Where Luigi's pad is, is beyond me. Spoiler alert, he's not really in this game. I don't know why, they didn't like Luigi back then. They're just like, what do you mean Luigi? Mario has a brother? No. Holy crap, physics use gravity, it's not very effective. Alright, so apparently we're going to Mushroom Kingdom now. I must say though, the graphics in this game were awesome for the time. Um, shut up, you did damage to me? You little douche, I'm gonna kick your ass. You gave me a mushroom, okay, it's worth it. Uh, yes, I do know how to use items, uh, so uh, if you say no, he'll teach you, but it'll cost you that mushroom that you just got. Oh no, it's a Goomba! Jump on it! They're Goombas, man. Um, I do, and I explained that to you guys before, but if we say no, we get three mushrooms. So I'm gonna say no. Yes, push A. Look, I did the time attack right. Twice. 
Yes. Wait a second. Hit A again here. Ugh. You don't even have an option to. You always get that time tape. And then he tells you, thanks for having good timing. Ugh. So yeah, the attack changes. And then, um, actually, this is late. They show it to you a little bit late when his mouth's wide open is when you want to hit the A button. Yes, of course. Yeah, no, it doesn't always work. It's very buggy like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm, they're going to force you to use a jump here. and There's really nothing you could do about it. And then push Y there, and then you do a ton of damage. Even though one punch without the time hit is enough to take out a Goomba, apparently he wanted me to do 52 damage on it for some reason. No. I read about nothing. Is that it? Yes. That doesn't explain why you came over here. But here we go, three mushrooms. Well worth it at the cost of three um three flower points they're called, three MP pretty much. And then here we are in the world. We're gonna take on this Goomba here. So I can show you what an actual battle looks like. This is, you know, the battle screen here on most maps or most parts of the game. We're gonna take on the Goomba first, and down he goes. See, look, I tried to time it the second time just like he did, and it failed. You have to do it a little earlier than he said. And taking out the Goombas very easily. Oh, occasionally they'll drop flowers that do special things for you. Uh, that one gave me the HP max. I believe there's another one that says once again, and it basically gives you another turn. I forget what the other ones are. So there we go. We finally got an experience. About time. And since I skipped that battle, it is a good point now to remind everybody how I'm going to be doing this LP. Well, not remind because I didn't actually explain it for this one, but I'm pretty much going to be cutting out random battles. Please stay away from me. Um, and then I'll, if it's a, unless it's a new enemy, uh, these guys infinite spawn, so I'm just going to walk, keep walking and then once I find the next one. I'll be cutting out those random battles unless it's a new enemy, pretty much. Like this guy right here. These are turtles. They're Koopa, flying Koopas. Uh, Sky Troopers, actually. Uh, they're very susceptible to jump, but I don't want to use jump. I want to punch them in the face. Because they don't, if I time the, the defense right, they don't do any damage to me anyway, so what's the point of taking them out in one turn as opposed to two? They do have coins, though, which is awesome. Uh, still trying to get used to the, the scheme that I have set up on for, for this game right now. Oh, I said I'd be cutting this out, but this is uh, small, short enough, so let's just, yeah, whatever. Die. Alright, so we're gonna keep going to Mushroom Kingdom. Let's fight this guy though. Alright, let's get that treasure chest here. It's full of coins, and of course we have to individually get them one by one, because that's how Mario rolls. And Toad has was caught by a Goomba. Let's just go ahead and take these out off screen, because it's supposed to be a little gifted to a sort of mandatory battle. You don't actually have to do it, but since it's Toad there, we're going to show it as if it was. But it's pretty basic here. I mean, there's this is, in terms of an RPG, this is very simple. This was actually the first RPG I ever played. I never beat it as a kid. I had to come back to get it. I see you. I know you're there. And here we reach the first level up bonus screen. Mario reaches level 2 thanks to that battle. And as you can see, our stats go up quite a bit. 20 to 25 HP. That is a ton. Attack 20 to 23, 0 to 2 defense, 10 to 12 magic attack, and 2 to 4 magic defense. But we also get a bonus. This is what I was talking about in the, oh, in the intro, if you guys were unaware. Uh, basically, you get to choose a bonus power, HP, or special, the star power, uh, flower power, all that good stuff. Um, so, but what they don't tell you is that you get to, you get a, a little hint here, attack and defense go up by one each, HP goes up by three, and then star power goes up by three. 
so we are going to be going for that. That is how I'm going to be doing this is whichever one is higher than usual, I'm going to be going for that one. So we're going to be going for that. That should give me a very strong Mario build. Let's fight you. But yes, unlike the Seven Saga, these random battles are so easy that I actually enjoy doing them. That is so weird. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, these these treasure chests are usually traps. So just hold on. Let me just stand there and you'll see. Told you. All right, so what do we get for all our hard work? We get a mushroom, which um, I believe instantly heals you. Let's see here. Let's look at the menu. Yeah, instantly heal me because I did take damage in the past couple of fights. Instant heal. Awesome. Doesn't give me the option to do that. And I know. Yeah, there you are. All right, what we want to do is jump on this little spinny flower here. As you can see, Toad is a little under distress right now. He's actually taken prisoner by another simple enemy. So let's go ahead and hop on this flower right here. How we get? There we go. And I've never seen this before. Uh, I've somehow glitched this little flower. So what really happens is you step on the flower. There we go. Let's go left first. There we go. Any traps? No. All right, and we get a flower which instantly adds one flower point. So see, as you can see, we're 10 out of 11 in terms of flowers right now. Uh, that is the flower points. Uh, flowers instantly give you one. Let's go this way now. And yeah, there's a Goomba here. All right, I had never fully explained how I was going to be doing level grinding. So in this game, um, there's really no need to level grind. I'm just going to take on everything that's on the screen, pretty much. That um, is an infinite spawn, and there's a ton of those. I'm going to take it on, and then I should be at a well high enough level to, to finish the game. Um, or at any point in the game, I should be leveled high enough. All right, let's take on this Sky Trooper. Once again, I'll be showing this fight because it toads in it. Well, not toads in it per se, but you know, we were saving toad thanks to this guy. So, as you can see, I can one shot these things now. They only have 10 HP as far as I can tell. And we get one experience and one coin. And yes, gimme, gimme, gimme. Flower tab. Awesome. I'll be saving that and I'll be explaining it when we do use it in uh, pretty soon, I believe. And what's. Oh, Lockatoo. Freaking hate Lockatoos. Oh, and he's dropping these guys. What are these called again? I hate them, so I'm gonna. They're, ju they're just called Spikies. Alright, so you're going to die, Spiky. Oh, he didn't die. And he does a lot of damage, that's why I want to kill him first. That should be enough to kill him. There you go. I wouldn't worry too much about HP right now. Um, as soon as you level up, you do um, regain all your health. Just like, uh, there's been a couple games like that. I can't, none of them come to mind right now. But yeah, okay, I'll take these two guys on off screen. Couple things to mention, I did get a mushroom in one of those fights, and if you uh, hit the X button with good timing, in those, um, when you use an item, you get it back, it says get a freebie, basically means you got it back. Alright, uh, let's just take one of you on. Ah, eh, I'll have to take both of you. So this little circle here with the Lockatoo is an infinite spawn, you can't actually jump up and fight him, I've tried. Uh, so if you need to level grind for whatever reason, there's where you would do it. And what's this? Got a hammer bro here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use that flower tab now. Oops. I don't know how to work the system, I swear. Uh, so we're going to do basically mushroom, boom, flower tab, and it raises the flower points by one, and also heals up your flower points. So if you haven't been used, if, if you need to, feel free to use them up till now. There we go. 12 flower points. That's enough for four jumps. Apparently walking up to him makes his hammer very angry, and now there's two of them, so yes, they are hammer bros now. We're going to go ahead and start with jumps, because that is the best strategy. Take on one bro at a time. And down he goes instantly. Look at that. And the other guy will instantly go for the defense up. Valor up is what he calls it. I don't know why. 
But yeah, 21 there. So that definitely did a lot of heal or help to him. Oh, 22. Once again, this bu this boss fight is incredibly easy if you remember timed hits and you just play a little bit intelligently. So I, you know, nobody should really be having too much of a problem with this. We get a ton of coins out of it, 20 coins in fact, and we get a flower jar thanks to our trouble. What do you mean, where'd this hammer come from? The dude kidnapped you, and he had the hammer, and then I killed him. What? So I'm stealing somebody else's hammer, and you're okay with that? Picked up a hammer! Well, let's go ahead and equip that. Here's how you equip. Oh, no. There we go. Equip. Weapon. Hammer. You can also do it the other way. Hammer. Weapon. Doesn't really matter. But there we go. Hammer equipped. And that's pretty much it. So when we come back next time, we'll enter the Mushroom Kingdom. Find out what the Chancellor has to say about us rescuing Princess Toadstool. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.